Take that, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna try something a bit uh, a bit risky here. I'm actually gonna try and get into melee range with these archers. If I do, if I do die, which I'm probably going to. Hello and welcome back to the last days. And when we left off, we were actually down in Isengard territory, all the way down here next to the Urukai River camp. I, I I was just about to say next to the ruins, but no, then that would give the impression that I failed to protect it. But no, 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 I didn't. I didn't. It was not in my control whatsoever. And the uh, well, the uh, fellows from Isengard are not doing a very good job of defending themselves whatsoever. We do have a siege currently going on at the Wood Elf West Camp, and we also have a siege going on at Bjorn's house, which is exactly where I am right now. And I would actually like to tell him to go in. However, I have a task here to uh, actually uh, say hello there to this fellow and gain a very small amount of rank points and so on and so forth. And now, now that we're done with that... Let's do this. Let's go and uh, speak to him, and I would like to have a council. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, there we go. You should assault immediately. Our preparations are not yet ready. Okay, so he obviously hasn't even built the siege equipment or anything like that, but that just means that we have to wait a considerable amount of time, and as you can no doubt tell by that little message that you may have missed up there, I don't have any food remaining, which is a bit of a problem. Hopefully I'm going to be able to get some after this and ah now he's going in fantastic okay so this is going to be in my opinion at least a pretty swift and easy victory and thank you by the way to those of you that told me that my shield is the main reason why i'm actually having problems with my accuracy i kind of thought to myself it was a bit weird that i was actually able to use a shield while i was wielding my bow but yes, as he, oh, no, actually, no, it's not. Look at that, it's exactly the same. The accuracy is exactly the same. The, uh, the crosshair is still relatively wide. Oh, I actually thought that that was it. I thought you were talking some real big sense right there, but apparently that is not the case. I'm not entirely sure why it is so incredibly inaccurate then. Just look at this, is it the same? Yeah, it's basically the same. That is super weird, right? That is really, really weird. I have no idea why that is actually happening. Well, I might as well keep my shield out then, because... Oh, you know what? Maybe it's because I actually have a shield equipped at all. But then, how does that make any difference? That surely doesn't... That, that surely makes a huge difference to my mounted, uh, my mounted accuracy as well. But as we've seen, my mounted accuracy is actually basically perfect so it's a bit weird right yeah i have no idea well thank you to those of you that uh, tried to give me a little bit of insight there but uh, well obviously that doesn't seem to be uh, what is actually going on weirdly enough so i guess we'll just have to shoot a little bit here and just hope that we actually hit as you can see my accuracy is not great but i guess we'll just have to try our best at get him Get that guy. Get him dead. Get him. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, that worked. And maybe we can shoot this guy. One more arrow remaining. Yeah, nice. We took him down. All right. So I'm actually going to tell my people to charge in here. I'm not entirely sure why they're not all charging, but I saw some people outside and I kind of wanted them to stop being somewhat, um, somewhat hesitant, shall we say. And hopefully I'm going to be able to. Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, hello there. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful, wonderful gift in the form of a completely, almost completely fresh quiver of arrows. I like it. Now, if I could just murder these guys. Oh, there's a uh, pretty big warrior of some kind over there, so I don't think I really need to worry too much about them. And we've lost six units so far. Again, my, my ratio is super weird, right? Yeah, my ratio is kind of weird. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. Okay. Uh, yeah. No. 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 You. You. No. You cannot. You cannot defeat Manfilf. You are Manfilf yourselves. So it's like defeating yourself. It's a. It's a bad philosophy. Philosophy. To have. Well. Yeah. There you go. What is actually going on with our guys? What is actually going on right there? Because I literally waded in there thinking that we have a huge amount of people to kind of back me up and stuff like that. But as you can quite clearly tell. They're, they're kind of failing for some reason. I don't know why that is. They're kind of failing to even um, get inside. But that doesn't really matter. It's neither here nor there, to be honest, because there's only one enemy remaining, and he will fall 
very swiftly. There we go. Very nice indeed. Okay, so there we are. 43 rank points. Nothing really much to write home about there. But we do get a massive, massive amount of units that I'm going to be able to recruit here, which is extremely, extremely nice. So I'll hopefully be able to take as many veteran type units, as many unique kind of noble units, as, as many as I can. And then we'll be very happy with that indeed. Okay, let me see here. More horse archers, uh, some more of these veteran warriors. And there you go. That's basically all I can take right now. And I'm not going to take any of those metal scraps or anything like that. But there you go. We have raised Bjorn's house. And that means that indeed, they're done. I believe the Vale of Anduin is done. There's nothing much more that they can do. And we're just going to be heading in here. I Oh, I can actually. Oh. I'm actually surprised. I thought to myself, I'm not going to be able to head in here because, let's face it, I was um, I was very injured. You know, I got I got myself taken out there. So yeah, that was highly unlikely that we were going to get any kind of uh, favorable HP level to to get in. But apparently, we no no no. Apparently, my uh, my HP is pretty good, so not bad. Now it is going to be extremely dark, obviously as you can maybe see or not see, as might be the case. And hopefully I'm not going to get myself murdered here. I'd like to maybe do a little bit of damage with my two-handed. Seems to be working quite nicely so far. I don't really want to get myself killed again, if at all possible. I can barely see, by the way. I am, I am also having huge, huge problems. Uh, is, that the, is that the enemy leader? Yeah, that is the enemy leader right there. As you can see, she's basically taking very little damage. I think I did 62 damage to her, so usually melee attacks will hit, but then it kind of absorbs in a weird sort of way. But there you go. That was indeed a victory for us. And we have been promoted to Great Enforcer of Mount Gundabad, which is kind of useless, I suppose, as time goes on. But I kind of felt it was necessary for us to eliminate her because you never know whether that is going to keep the faction alive and we certainly don't want that anyway let's just take a quick look at what's going on here okay so he has actually begun the siege but he hasn't gone in yet against the wood elf west camp oh they have wow they have a pretty significant amount of people but there you go look at that the veil of anduin has been defeated fantastic so now we still have mirkwood remaining in the area and I'm actually going to go to Mirkwood Outpost very, very quickly. And we're going to see if I can maybe buy some stuff. There we go. Nice. Let's sell a couple of uh, good metal scraps. And then we'll see what's going on here. All right, all right. So this is what's currently going on. Wood Elf Camp is obviously something we can pretty much ignore. I'm not entirely sure what's going on at Thranduil's Halls. But now that Rune has eliminated every other faction in this area we should have a pretty overwhelming chance for them to actually focus on something that is kind of important. And look at this, Isengard's finally fighting back. Yes, that is the kind of thing we want to see. That is fantastic. Rune is now unmatched. Well, technically, they were outmatched before, as far as I'm aware. Oh, look at this. Muriel has actually come out of the garrison. That is a huge, huge mistake on her part. I'm actually going to go in here, even though this is not something I would recommend doing for anyone. I personally don't, don't like fighting in Mirkwood one bit. I feel like fighting here is so extremely uncomfortable that it actually gives me a little bit of an, a, a re real uncomfortable feeling uh, in real life. And uh, that's, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of saying something. I, I mean, I assume that the the mod creators decided that they would make this extremely favorable for any kind of archer-based army in comparison to, um, you know, cavalry. Because let's face it, Rune is probably going to run everyone down otherwise. You know, they're going to be super, super effective against pretty much every faction in the area if they had only flat battlefields to fight on. So it does give the elves of Mirkwood a little bit of a respite you know kind of oh, oh really are you serious right now did I seriously literally just take that much damage yes I did all right ah hmm the wonderful wonderful trials and tribulations of man filth as he attempts to not die 
And that was a nice hit, if I do say so myself. Okay, now let's just see if we can eliminate some of these. Thank you. Kill that one. And this one. Uh, uh, yes, I, I can actually... Oh, are you serious? I actually got killed by Muriel herself? Ah. <sighs> Oh, well, never mind. I guess that's going to happen every now and again. But I think we have completely scattered the opponent. Oh. What? Okay. I'm just going to tell them to just charge in and finish them up then, I suppose. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Why did uh, Why did we leave? That was, that was kind of weird. Okay, well, never mind. Never mind. That was a good victory for us. And look at this. Yes, that is exactly what I was talking about. That is the reason why I thought... That, that was going to happen, you know, because every other enemy faction has been eliminated and it is now time for Rune to make their move to eliminate the last opposing forces in the area. Th this is this is the beginnings of the final stages of the game, technically. I mean, obviously, uh, Mordor and Isengard still have to, you know, do their thing. And there's King Thranduil. He's uh, apparently wanting to do something over here. He wants to attack Master Berza, but I don't really, I don't really mind too much about that. If he wants to do that, then he can go ahead and do it, because obviously Gundabad is unmatched. They can pretty much spare the combat strength as much as they possibly want. And we're just going to go into Dale here and just uh, pick up a bunch of food. We've still got some fresh beef right there as well, which is actually quite nice. Let's just sell a little bit of the good quality metal scraps. I have so much of that that I really don't need any more. I have 20 spaces, actually. Let me see if I can recruit some people here. Yeah, there we go. Let's recruit some really, really nice units. There we go. Okay, I've got five spaces remaining. That should be absolutely fine. I'm going to actually just speak to Ziggafell real quick. Maybe some of these people will be able to become... Yep, there we go. Nice. That was fantastic. Okay, so now we have four werewolves. I mean, generally, I want as many werewolves as I can possibly get, because even though I can't look at their stats, as far as I'm aware, their stats are really good. So I'm going to try and um, focus on that a little bit more. All right, so we specced into Iron Flesh previously, and now I'm thinking we're going to do the same. So we're probably going to go for Charisma once more, and then... I mean, inventory management might be something kind of useful, but I think in general it is just a waste of a point, you know, unless you're making like a trading character or something like that. And even in, you know, in the last days, you can't really trade, you know, there's not really any trading to, to speak of. So that's kind of useless. But anyway, I'm going to go for more Iron Flesh. I feel like I'm a little bit fragile, and I'm not a big fan of that. I'd much prefer to survive more and more hits. And if I can get about 70 HP, maybe even 75 HP if I'm lucky, then I will be very happy with that. Anyway, there's the Jarl. What's he doing? Why is he just standing there? Yes, okay, yeah, we did that. That We, we did a fantastic job. Okay, so... What it, um, can I uh, wish to lead our men in an assault on an enemy settlement? Okay. Um, <laughs> I actually do have a hundred thousand. I do have a hundred thousand, so technically I could do this. Shall we do it? Let's do it. Why not? Is that a hundred? Yeah, that is a hundred thousand. I thought I was reading it wrong for a second. Okay, so this means that I am now the leader, right? Do I have to speak to one of my companions to actually start that up? Or can I just speak to them and tell them where to go and stuff like that? I'm actually not entirely sure. Because I've never done this before. Mm. Uh, okay. Interesting. I think what that does is it basically just allows me to start sieges. And that's pretty much it. I seem to remember that that is, uh, that is the case. Anyway, let's go over to Thranduil's Halls. I will try, if I can, to get this to work. No. Okay, apparently that, apparently that did not work. Okay, I am perplexed. I'm not entirely sure. It's been a while since I've um, done anything like that, so I do apologize. Oh well, never mind. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what happens then. All right, so here we go. Wood Elf Camp has been, uh, well, has been besieged by um, 
rune. I, I, I don't know why they do this, but I, I think it is just a logical thing uh, for them to um, try to accomplish. And uh, generally, I feel like it's quite fun to see all the, uh, all the various siege maps and stuff like that. And you can see here that it's actually kind of... It's kind of it's kind of cool in my opinion. I like it a lot because it does provide you with just a greater scope and a greater sort of immersion as to what is actually going on in these places and what it actually looks like. And as you can see, Wood Elf Camp is literally exactly that. It's a camp. <laughs> it's an actual camp with uh, some tents and so on and so forth. So it's not really anything um, too dramatic like, you know, it's not a castle, it's not a fortified settlement of any kind, it's literally just a couple of tents. And in my opinion, that's a pretty cool thing to see. Anyway, let's just see if we can maybe do some extra damage here. There we go. Uh, as far as I'm aware, there are 250 enemies here. And I'm very much hoping that we'll be okay. Wood Elf Arrows, thank you. Oh, I dropped Black Arrows for these. Okay, hmm. Not a big fan of that, but they seem to do more damage. Are we actually losing? We're losing quite a lot of people. Well, I'm doing quite nicely in terms of my damage, so I'm pretty happy with the amount of kills that I've gotten so far. This is going to inspire my units. At least it's hopefully going to give them a little bit of extra morale here and there. I seem to be hitting a lot more often. That's kind of strange. Arrows shouldn't make any difference to your accuracy, but apparently I'm actually hitting much more. Kind of weird. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I should probably uh, loot some more stuff. There we go. Hello there. And uh, maybe we can do something about these guys. Hello there. Yes. Goodbye. Nice. That is what I like to see. And maybe we can murder that and this. And now the only problem... Oh, no, never mind. He switched. He switched at that very moment. Oh, dear. Might have some problems. Gonna try and hide behind this tent a little bit and just continue to murder everything that I can. We're actually getting a huge amount of kills. I'm really surprised about that, to be honest. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay, so how many have we lost so far? Okay, so we've eliminated 145. That's pretty decent. There's some more arrows here. Uh, only nine of them, actually. So not that good. And we've got a lot of people aiming towards this particular direction, which is super bad, as you can quite clearly tell. Don't die now. Don't die. Yeah, this is really, really bad. Okay, I'm going to actually have to tell my people just to literally charge in, because if they don't charge in, we're going to be kept at a disadvantage for almost the entirety of the time. And I don't know whether you noticed, but elves are actually kind of good at archery. And it seems like Rune does not know that uh, for, for some weird reason. Take that, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to try something a bit, uh, a bit risky here. I'm actually going to try and get into melee range with these archers. If I, do d if I do die, which I'm probably going to. Yeah, I'm certainly going to die now. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Mm. Ah, he got me. All right, well, that happens, you know, that happens. That's absolutely fine. We can just retreat, and we're just going to let them continue the siege, and we'll see how that goes. I'm sure they're going to, yeah, there's only 85 of them remaining, of the enemy remaining, that is, and that should be a relatively easy victory for them. Let's go into Dolgadur, because I do need to get some food human flesh is actually all also here i do have some orcs so it probably makes sense for me to take a couple of those at least and now wood elf camp there you go it's done that's nice we reduce the woodland realms power even further and rune is now going to move on to another another area and Wood Elf West Camp has been besieged by Master Berzer again. I'm actually going to ask these uh, this war party to follow me because there's 58 of those guys. Should be pretty useful for us. And where are they going to go? They're probably just going to wait around a little bit, just try and restore themselves somewhat. And then they're going to see where they head off to after that. But we did get a pretty decent amount of experience 
in that siege, which is actually kind of also a reason why you would probably want to go in there most of the time, because if you go into these sieges and get, I don't know, 50 or so kills, that's actually a pretty significant experience gain, and that is eventually going to help you to become more powerful and indeed to get some more HP and so on and so forth. Okay, so Master Buzzer has actually gone in there right now. I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm actually at 100% HP. I thought I was thought I was damaged, but I'm going to wait until the next day. Going to wait until early morning. There we go. And now we're going to head in. And now we're going to do this because we're going to get a little bit... Oh, this is cool. We're going to get a little bit of rank points with these guys. And I didn't really want to go, you know, super hard because I don't want to lose any units while fighting the elves. And I don't really mind losing units when I have rune with me. But to help Gundabad in such a way so that it reduces my own combat strength, not a big fan of doing that. So if I can help it... Oh, hello. Are you serious? Wow. Yeah. Warband AI is sometimes extremely merciless, as you can no doubt tell. Yep. Very merciless, in fact. <laughs> oh, that happens. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, um, I'm not entirely sure what is even going on with these um, allied AI because they, they, they tend to be a bit uh, a bit passive. They're not, uh, they're not, like, charging in as much as you would expect them to. But uh, there you go. He was... Wow, they were actually... Are you serious? They were actually defeated? Look at that. They were literally defeated. That is actually kind of amusing. All right. Well, if that's how it's going to be, then that's how it's going to be. I guess I'll go back to Rune and try and get some more units to join my army. Got to be careful of the Guardians of the Forest. They are around here somewhere. They still have, by the way, full amounts of units. They still have 414. So I assume that they literally just have not been touched since... Um, since forming their army, which is actually kind of crazy to to think that no one at all in the entirety of the game has thought to attack them. So there's also that. But yeah, the AI can be a little bit... Um, it can be quite smart, because obviously they don't really want to be attacking people like that. They're going to be so, so strong. Wow, look at this. 17 of these guys? What? 17 of those warriors of the ox? That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, obviously, leveling up leadership is going to help us, although my leadership has not leveled up since that time. So, you know, getting all of these uh, crazy, crazy strong... Look at this. I have 47 of these things. I mean, that's going to be insanely powerful in any siege. So I'm hopeful that we'll be able to see those. Uh, let's see if we can make a couple of these. Yeah, nice. Now we have... Oh, we have three werewolves. Okay. Yeah, it seems like we lost a couple of them, which is to be expected, I suppose. All right, so Rune... What? The might of Rune has been diminished? Why? Why? What actually happened? <gasps> We're losing people. Why are we losing people? Are you serious? King Thranduil is right here. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to have to... Um... Do I have to fight him? In Mirkwood? Uh, yeah, uh, I didn't really want to, but uh, Allworth only has a very small amount of people in his army, and I kind of don't want him to get eliminated, so I'm kind of forced to do this, which I really didn't want to, but okay, we'll see how it goes, and uh, maybe it's going to work out. Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. All right, well, let's just see here. Okay, yeah, so shield is too big to be used with a bow, of course. But I've tried unequipping it on foot, and it still gives me the same accuracy. So it could just be that I should not use a shield on foot when I'm expected to go into a siege or something along those lines. That's probably the case. Okay, yeah, let's just be a little bit careful then, shall we? I'm going to go for my two-handed, I think. Because, oh, they're such, oh, mm, these elves, they really grind my gears. They really, really do. Look, I mean, just look at how, look at look at their positioning. Their positioning is so incredibly, so incredibly good, as you can see right there. There's literally nothing I can do about this. Like, if I 
don't go in there, or if I just wait, then they're just, they're still going to kill me extremely, extremely fast. There is literally nothing I can do about that. Mirkwood is just extremely frustrating. It super, super is. Anyway, I'm going to just leave that, and uh, we're going to just go in uh, automatically right here. There we go. That is indeed a victory for us. And we gain massive amounts of rank points as a result of that, which is actually really nice. And we do get a couple of extra people to take prisoner there, but that is not really that necessary in my opinion. But there you go. That was nice. We did actually keep him alive. Technically, if I'd waited a little bit longer, I might have been able to get... Um, even more rank points. It would have been pretty nice to increase my army capacity by a more significant amount, but, well, you know how it is. Sometimes you just can't. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to build up my forces once again, and we're going to see what happens with all of these factions in the next one. But let's just take a very quick look at the combat strength. As you can see right here, Isengard's average. Mordor is very strong. Rune is at 8 thousand i'm actually not entirely sure if they can get any more than that i don't know whether they can get any more than eight thousand so it might be that they are the strongest faction in the entire game at this point and who knows where they're going to go after this I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to try and take wood elf west camp and we'll see whether that is indeed the case i thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time